Okay, so let's set Joey up, uh, set his dashboard up with all his management and sprint preferences. So we'll start with the organization. So as you can see, there's, there's no organization here. It just says organization. So here's where you can edit this. So you click, click edit and you can type in here the name of your organization. If you're a private user, it may be just your, user, your, your name. Um, now, as you can see, I've done this before. So Beethenic Honey Company is the name of Joey's company. And you can uh, uh, choose whether it's a primary organization. So this becomes relevant once you've got more than one organization. You can add a logo and this will appear on your dashboards and through your reporting, etc. So that's something you can do. You can add all your uh, details in here, but uh, you know it's not mandatory at the moment. Um, so we'll click uh, United States because as I said in the intro, the location's very important uh, for for uh, when you're pinning your sites and, and like I said beekeeping is all about GPS coordinates where you are and what's within range uh, flora wise uh, then we can move on to we'll go back to management um, contacts so here's where you can add contacts uh, I won't go into this right now but this for example when you're adding sites to your your thing one of the things it's going to ask you for is the property owner's name and it's in for you your backyard sure it's probably not that important but once you start getting permission to use private individuals and government departments uh, land, um, it's gonna become super critical. So you create your context here. We'll go into that a bit later. Here's where you can start to invite your team. So you can invite a, a user uh, here. So I can invite, you know, Susie, uh, whatever. I'll cover that off later when we, we start talking about teams. But as you can see, you can set up your permissions here. So it's, uh, like I said, enterprise grade security, super critical protecting your data. Uh, then we'll go to uh, uh, event log is obviously clear at the moment. So a lot of this UX is evolving super rapidly in beta. And so you'll see when you're logging in, don't be surprised when you see the UX enhancements and feature enhancements that are just flowing through on a regular basis. Uh, here's where you can set your targets. Now, you know, I've got this just set for 100 kilograms per hive for Joey which uh, which you can and of course if I had have chosen in my preferences imperial this would be in pound 220 pound then I can put when my season starts uh, and ends let's say you know I'm in the US it starts around then and finishes around then and uh, so I can submit that now that that information here is going to be important when the reporting module uh, porting and alerting module comes on board so let's just uh, just watch this space on that your forum this is the name that uh, will appear on the public forum. You can choose to participate in the public forum or not. It's up to you. Now, Joey is go hard or go home. Joey go, to so update his display name. His organization we did, and obviously account. This is all the stuff that you put in. We need to put a time zone in here. I don't know. Um, you probably, it doesn't, I don't think this is super critical, but why not? Let's just pick a, um, I don't know, San Diego, whatever that'll do. This, in this form, uh, you need to re-enter your password. So let's do that. So, all right, so that's, that's that. Preferences, um, some of this is repeated. So there's different ways to get the different menu items, so I won't go into all of these again. Um, Varroa, we've got a Varroa management module that's coming soon, but right now we've gi we've given you some basic functionality on managing your Varroa inspections and, and Varroa treatments. The terminology I'm happy with, but you can change it to B yards or whatever here, and I'm happy with metric at the moment, so we'll just leave that there. Uh, and uh, as you can see, that's uh, all set up now. So let's move on to step two, setting up some sites for Joey.